Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. Finding a decent set of speakers for your desk setup can be a pretty daunting task. There's a huge selection out there. You've got well-known brands in big box stores, brands you've never heard of on Amazon, uh, speakers specifically for computers, bookshelf speakers, studio monitors, all with different options, prices, looks, and it's pretty easy to get caught up in decision paralysis. Which model has the best sound? Does the bass on these slap? Will these drown out the sound of me crying in the shower? Recently, I went through this whole process. I changed the tabletop of my desk and most of the components from my monitor, keyboard, and mouse down to small details like the color of the cables that I was using. I had a great set of speakers before, and while they did the job, the color stuck out like a sore thumb, and they didn't exactly fit into my workflow and how I was using this space. Uh, long story short, I got rid of those old speakers, which in hindsight, I probably could have waited at least a few months. Uh, I've basically been using headphones only at this desk for three or four months now, but I did want to make sure that the next thing that I got was really going to fit into this space, both aesthetically and functionally. Uh, I also don't want to spend an arm and a leg, so I did a whole bunch of research for speakers around the $100 to $150 range, and I ended up landing on these, the Edifier MR4 Studio Monitor Speakers. Uh, the model I have is white, and that, believe it or not, is quite important to me. I know it might seem silly, but everything in this space right now I've put a lot of thought into, and I want it to look and feel as nice as possible because I do spend a lot of time in here. Uh, these do also come in black if you have more of a darker setup or if you just prefer a darker look, but I've been really trying to bring out brighter colors into this space. They are a simple design. They aren't as aggressive looking as a lot of other edifier speakers are with just a simple box design and rounded edges. You have a one inch tweeter at the top, a four inch composite woofer, and just below that you have an auxiliary input and a headphone output on the front right speaker across from the volume knob. That's also a power button and a mode switcher. Along the back, you've got two dials that control treble and bass and all your connections. So RCA input, a quarter inch TRS input, and just below that you have your left speaker out. Again, nothing fancy there. I will mention that the four inch speaker does feel like a much nicer material than on some other common edifier speakers like the R1280s or R1700 BTSs that I previously had, where the drivers on those are paper versus the composite material that I mentioned on the MR4s. The volume knob I'm not a huge fan of as it does have a step control. Uh, the audio levels can have considerable jumps between each step. It's not a big deal for me as I usually just control the volume through my Mac system volume, but just calling that out in case you do use that a lot. Long pressing that knob will cycle the power and clicking it while it's on will switch between monitor mode and music mode, which I'll touch on in just a bit. Uh, for me, the most important thing along the front is having that headphone jack. It's not something that's common in these bookshelf style speakers that Edifier and a lot of other manufacturers make, and that was definitely a must for me. I often like to check out if a video sounds good with headphones on, or I might edit or listen to audio with headphones on if there's a lot of noise around me, or if there's people who just don't want to hear me. So being able to quickly plug into the front of the speakers without having to maneuver a cable around the back of my computer is a huge win. If you watch my video on the Mac Mini or you own one, you probably know that the headphone jack is in a terrible place, and I know it can be the same with a lot of PCs, and nobody wants to crawl behind their machine and plug this stuff in. So having something with easy access at arm's length keeps things a lot cleaner and more convenient. The MR4 cabinets are made out of MDF, which is not surprising given the price. These are around $129, so very affordable for most people, but really impressive audio for that price. Uh, these are near field studio monitors, so they're meant to sit at a desk in close proximity to you, and they have more of a flat profile than your average set of bookshelf speakers will, so no thumping bass or anything like that. They're more meant to provide a accurate, clean sound without a whole lot of distortion or exaggeration in your audio. This is great for someone like me where I'm doing a lot of content creation and I want to make sure that I've got at least semi-accurate sound. And it's also great for people who are working with music or sound design as well. Uh, obviously, if you're wanting pro-level audio gear, you're probably looking to spend a lot more. But if you're more of just a hobbyist or you're just looking for a set of speakers with decent sound, these will do the trick. 
Uh, the Edifier MR4s have been compared to a lot of other speakers in this range, like the PreSonus Aris E3.5s and the Mackie CR3Xs, and are supposed to have a lot better sound than both of those models. And I actually think that they do sound better than my old Edifier R1700 BTS speakers as well. They don't have all the bells and whistles like some of those other Edifier speakers do, like Bluetooth. Uh, there's no remote, which is fine with me. But the remote for my old R1700 speakers basically just sat at the desk as an ornament and I'm not sure that it really makes sense to have a remote here when everything is in arm's reach. Uh, not only that, but because of the latency associated with Bluetooth, even if it's minuscule, it can cause issues with editing video and lining up audio correctly, so I'm always going to use a wired connection when it comes to my workflow. These MR4s have 42 watts RMS output, so I'd say fairly average for speakers this size. Uh, they still get way louder than I'll ever push them. You do have those bass and treble controls controls if you want to play around with the EQ a little, which makes a slight difference, but not a ton. Uh, I definitely notice it a lot more on the bass side than the treble. Uh, circling back to that mode control on the volume knob, it honestly doesn't seem to do that much either. Uh, I've played around toggling it on and off between music mode and monitor mode, and you can maybe notice a slight difference, but it's pretty trivial. In any case, I do think that these punch above their weight class when it comes to audio quality. I know I've been talking a lot about these in terms of creating content and how it's helping my workflow, but these are really capable as a great set of speakers for casual use as well. Oftentimes in the morning or the evening where I just want to sit and listen to music or I want to watch something, I'm pumping audio through these and they sound great. Like I said earlier, these aren't going to bring the house down with crazy bass or anything, but the audio is really clean and they are meant to be used at close range, so they're not going to sound nearly as good if you start to move away from them. And the only other thing that I will say is ideally you want these to sit on some stands to either angle them up or have them sit up a little bit to get the most out of them, but overall very impressed, especially at that price of $129. I think if you are looking at these, you want something that's got clear audio with a flat profile, a simple design that doesn't take up too much desk space, these are a really great option. I love the build quality, the only thing that I don't really love about these is that stepped volume knob, but again, that is pretty minor. That front 3.5mm output is a huge deal to me as well that my old speakers didn't have, but if that isn't important to you or you do want some of those other things like Bluetooth, a remote, or if you want something that goes a little bit louder, maybe you do look at those other options. I will leave links to all these speakers in the description along with some fruit to make sure that you're getting all of your vitamins, so feel free to check those out, but I can definitely recommend these MR4s. If you have any questions about these or things about them that you want to discuss, or if you want to tell everyone about your vacation plans, uh, type that up in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give that like button a little click for me. If you want to see more tech related content, or if you think that you may have been abducted by aliens that's resulted in you having dreams that predict the future, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.